copper wire. They hit a T-Mobile cell phone tower. It happened overnight in South City on Grand near 55 in Loughborough. This, though, just the latest wire theft for a quick buck. This unique crime is growing. Jefferson County has seen a rash of thefts, in fact, 24 in the last 30 days. Russell Kinsall is learning about the consequences. He's live tonight near Imperial. Yes, Sam, right, I'm standing right along uh, Old Lime Ferry Road near one of the most recent copper thefts. These thieves, out to make a quick buck, are potentially putting people's health and livelihood at risk. I was not aware of this at all. Cindy Riley works from home, running the Endless Summer Travel Company. She didn't know why she lost internet service in mid-September, just that she couldn't operate her business. So there was one day it was out all day, and so I cleaned my house and <laughs> put out some fall decorations because I, I can't work. As it turns out, a thief stole three batteries from a cable control box down the street, which shut off her internet service. It was part of a rash of cable and telephone related thefts that robbed her of a day of work. But in order to get any information to them, I, and to do any research to get prices or look for availability, check flights, that I cannot do that without my internet. Oh, there's definitely been quite the uptick of the wire theft in the last year. Lieutenant Michael Merchant is with the Jefferson County Sheriff's Office. He says in the last 30 days alone, copper wire thieves have hit 24 times in the county. It's affecting critical infrastructure for all of our residents in the county. I mean, you're losing the use of 911 at times. In some cases, the thieves stole copper wire from cell phone towers, but most times the thieves stole hundreds of feet of copper wire used for telephone and cable service. Investigators say the crimes can have serious consequences. There's a bunch of medical devices that are now, that use Wi-Fi or internet service, and if our citizens are losing those, it could have critical effects to them. Now that she knows who's responsible, Riley has switched from blaming Spectrum to the thieves. It's very irritating and very frustrating. It's illegal to sell telephone wire as scrap, and other regular copper wire sold as scrap only goes for $1.15 a pound, so they're not making a whole lot of money. Detectives have arrested one suspect. They're hoping to get four more arrests very soon. Live in Jefferson County, Russell Kinsall, first alert four. All right, Russell, thank you. Ramon